Marcus Buckingham. Quotes on success in life. Emphasize your strengths on your resume, in your cover letters, and in your interviews. It may sound obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people simply list everything they've ever done. Convey your passion and link your strengths to measurable results. Employers and interviewers love concrete data. Always work hard. Intensity clarifies. It creates not only momentum, but also the pressure you need to feel either friction or fulfillment. Many of us feel stress and get overwhelmed not because we're taking on too much, but because we're taking on too little of what really strengthens us. A note of caution, we can never achieve goals that envy sets for us. Looking at your friends and wishing you had what they had is a waste of precious energy. Because we are all unique, what makes another happy may do the opposite for you. That's why advice is nice, but often disappointing when heeded. Gen Y is really quite distinct from Gen X. It's really self-involved and very narcissistic. Their cameras are filled with pictures of themselves. Facebook, it's about me. It's a generation that's been pampered by their parents and their schools, given prizes for just taking part. People buy pads all the time because they want to write stuff down. We're never going to get away from paper, ever. People like writing. That's why more people are writing more real thank you notes now, not just to stand out, but because there's something about pen to paper, about holding something cool in your hands. CEOs hate variance. It's the enemy. Variance in customer service is bad. Variance in quality is bad. CEOs love processes that are standardized, routinized, predictable. Stamping out variance makes a complex job a bit less complex. Passion isn't something that lives way up in the sky, in abstract dreams and hopes. It lives at ground level, in the specific details of what you're actually doing every day. When you feel as though you can't do something, the simple antidote is action. Begin doing it. Start the process, even if it's just a simple step, and don't stop at the beginning. Your strongest life is built through a continuous practice of designing moment by moment. The best way to find out whether you're on the right path? Stop looking at the path. In a war, no matter the outcome of a certain skirmish or battle, the winner is the party whose attitudes, behaviors, and preoccupations come to dominate the post-war landscape. By this measure, the outcome of the gender wars, if wars they were, is clear, women won.